morning just having breakfast here um i'm turning this into a regular thing now i'm calling it my first course of breakfast <laughs> which is veggies and beans so i got a bunch of veggies over here um leftover stuff i had to eat up these peppers because they're getting soft now and the since they've been cut up and everything i made a um a nut based dip here which i certainly will not eat all of this but um it was what was left over in the blender after i poured the rest into a container and then again, I have my half of a cup of beans with my magic spice mix. Yum! Um, then after this, I'm going to make another smoothie for breakfast, but I'm having, I'm only going to make a half a blender full this time because yesterday when I made two, I made a whole blender with two smoothies and I had the other part of the smoothie around 3 p.m. It had like oxidized a lot and I didn't like the flavor of it as much. So I'm going to just make it, make one smoothie at a time, which is hard for me to do because I'm always making like a full blenderful. But one smoothie at a time and then um, today I'm going to try to have a salad um, later. Bye. Done. I'm having a couple of these tiger figs now and then I'm going to have a little bit of grape. And I might do my smoothie now, but I could wait to another hour or so. We'll see what happens. So about these figs, what I've been doing is every morning I get up and I come and I feel which ones are soft. And I put the soft ones out on top and then those are the ones I can eat for the day. Because the other ones are, they're fine, but they're just not soft enough. Um, and now I am in love with figs. They're so good. So soft. Mmm. If you see figs at the store, you've got to try them. And I have to say, these tiger figs, these were the sweetest ones I've ever had. Gotta wait till they get real smushy, though. I actually managed to make just um, one smoothie-ish today. So proud of me. I'm at Whole Foods right now. I was very hungry. I kept myself away from um, Chipotle, which was a huge <laughs> plus for me. And now I'm buying some groceries. I'm super hungry. I'm gonna get some good groceries. I'm gonna be a good person. And then I'm gonna try to go get some of the hot bar for lunch. I love kale chips and seaweed. <laughs> I just got back from shopping at Whole Foods. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I got a bunch of snacky things. So let me talk a little bit about what happened. So it's interesting going to Chipotle, you know. But what's been happening lately is I might have an idea for something I want to eat, but the drive to eat that particular thing is not that strong. Like I'll sort of crave it, and I'll go, "Oh, Chipotle would be really good," and I'd be thinking of like the flour tortilla that I would want to get. And everything and I started thinking through it and then I was like no but I was supposed to go to Whole Foods to get some ingredients for a salad I wanted to make because I got to use up some kale in the fridge and what's really different now than how it used to be was that the pull of Chipotle wasn't that strong it was kind of like eh, I'll go to Whole Foods it's fine so I was just like well I'll go to Whole Foods and if I still want Chipotle afterwards then I'll go to Chipotle because it's not, I mean, it's definitely not the worst thing I could do. It would be all vegan. I'd get the vegan beans and everything. Um, but then when I got to Whole Foods, I was like, you know, I'll just eat at the hot bar. So here's some kind of stuff that I got. Um, I got a few ingredients for the salad, so that stuff doesn't matter. But the snack things that I got, because I just wanted to, I wanted to try them out. These, first of all, I didn't get because I wanted to try. I got because I know I already like them. <laughs> Kale chips, the um, cheesy ones and then the chipotle cheesy ones and then I got zesty nacho I like these ones too and then I got these which were kind of expensive for what they are but they look really fun I'm gonna try these beet chips they're dehydrated these things are dehydrated so what's nice about them is that they're still raw so they still retain, retain most of the nutrients that they had when they were um, you know just a regular they're just dehydrated, so um, these are a really good healthy snack, but we'll see how I like them. I'm sure they'll be delicious. And I also, I was telling you before in a different video that one time I tried the chocolate ones and I didn't like them, so I got them again just to see <laughs> what they're like. Um, they have palm sugar and um, cacao butter in here and some sea salt, so those things are not nutritarian, but it's minimal, so I'm not worried about it. 
I also got these organic um, seaweed snacks. I think I already like these ones, but then I got some other ones to try. Cracked pepper and herb ones, and then sesame ones to try also. Um, these snacks, um, like the the regular kale chips, the only thing that's in them that are not um, nutritarian are is just sea salt. So I'm not worried about these. I'm not worried about the other ones. It's not bad stuff. Um, I think these are really great snacks to have. So I will be um, video blogging about these as I eat them, and I will not eat them all today, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, then uh, the really exciting thing was what I got for dinner. Let me show you in a sec. So I went to the hot bar, and I always go up and down the aisles to check the whole thing and see what they have first and kind of put together a meal in my mind. I usually try to start with some greens, whether it's kale or romaine, but the thing I don't like about Whole Foods um, Hot Bar is that they don't de-stem the kale, so it's always got the stems in there. I don't like that. Um, so I put some greens in first and then I start to pile up a bunch of veggies. You can't even possibly see everything that's in here, but look at this. So there's a bunch of greens on the bottom and then I just really like load it up on lots of different things. There's a lot of roasted veggies, roasted tomatoes, there's a lot of raw veggies. I put some quinoa in there, roasted pineapple, and then a little curry um, chickpea salad. So this is a massive amount of food if you feel this. This is probably a couple pounds worth, um, pound and a half or so. So I'm gonna just eat whatever I can out of here and see what I end up with. There is a bunch of lettuce at the bottom, so it, it might be less food than an actual, but it's a ton of food, actually. So I'll see what I can do. If I have any gas left over, I might have some of the um, kale chips at the end. And then I also got as a treat, I got a little kombucha. Um, I really like this as a refreshing drink. It's low calories, and it's got some good probiotics in it. I mean, it's not a necessary thing, but I just really like it, so as kind of a treat. Um, this particular one doesn't have any sugar in it, so bonus. All right, dinner time. Bye. All right, here's a little better view of what's in there. Lots of different things. Beets, strawberries, tofu, a bunch of lettuce, a little bit of falafel, um, radishes, carrots. Uh, roast, there's some roasted pineapple in there and so many other things. <laughs> um, some balsamic roasted mushrooms. This is my big huge bowl, so I'm gonna try to eat this whole thing, but um, I don't know, it's actually kind of a lot of food. It's really heavy, straining my wrist right now. <laughs> All right, wish me luck, bye. One thing that's really sad is when you finish a season, or I mean you finish an, um, a series that you've been watching, and then you feel like your life is empty because um, it's no longer in your life. <laughs> And you have to wait like a year before the the next season's gonna come out. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I just finished The Americans, and oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? For real? Well, I did pretty good, and <clears throat> I managed to avoid that piece of meat. <laughs> you gotta be careful when you eat from a <clears throat> hot bar like that. And these are the parts I didn't want, but that's it. Now I'm just snacking a little bit on these chips. It was a good amount of food. Um, I'm having, gonna have a little bit of kombucha now. It's a good day. Oh my God. These are super weird and awesome. Super weird. But awesome. Just beets, no other ingredients. Really crunchy and crispy. You only get like, you don't get a ton of them in here. So it's pretty expensive, but wow, they're a great, great snack.